Welcome, readers and listeners, to a random Sunday morning podcast. So, happy Monday, because you're going to be hearing this on a Monday. Or whatever day of the week it happens to be when you catch this, but you'll probably it's not going to be available until Monday, so happy Monday. <laughs> um, so, this is a special podcast, because with me today is a special guest, and that is my wife. I wanted her to come on and uh, kind of share her thoughts on... The last podcast that I did for the commentary on part two of Across the Creek, because I, I talk about the camping trip that we that we had, and she was there, so I want to get her perspective, and maybe she can shed a little bit of light on the uh, location itself, because she's the one that kind of showed it to me. She has experience with this place um, before I do, so <clears throat> just to kind of get into uh, a little backstory... Uh, she's. I think she'll be able to share some stuff. So, Cynthia, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this spot, this spot's extra special because right next to it, it's, um, there's a, there's a clearing. It's all overgrown now, but that's where, like, large families usually would camp. And I have camped in that clearing... Very interesting. There, it's just all open right next to the river. It's pretty pretty. It's, it's beautiful. Let's, let's not lie. It's it is gorgeous. beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a gorgeous place. I got lots of pictures. Yeah, I've, I had um, our friends get shot at there. So they were camping. They were uh, just relaxing around the fire, doing what you would normally do around the campfire. They got shot at. And, um... What the hell? They didn't hear anybody. You know, they, they, they were there all day. So they would have noticed if somebody came in and camped around them. Right. And there's really no spots to camp other than there, and then you have to go in deeper to get to the other spots. That's, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the first available yeah, I remember. spot. Because everything is just, like, straight edge off a cliff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember we walked, we walked a ways out there, and there was a there was a campsite that had like it was like two connected to each other. Mm -hmm. It was a bigger campsite than the one that we were at, but it it looked like it had been used more from, uh, more recently than the one that we had gone to because it was, I don't know, it seemed like it was cleared cleared out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe people just didn't see that one that we went well, to. Well, it's more private. It is. It's cause harder it, to see. It goes down like, on. there's like a little, a drop off that you have to go down to get to it. So it's like, you wouldn't really know it's there unless you knew it was there, There's you like know? a trail, but it's a really, I mean, I'm sure animals use that shit all the time. Of course. I mean, hence the yeah. rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> the stupid fucking rattlesnake. Oh my <laughs> God, man. That shit still scares me. It, it still scares me. It was very angry snake, but <laughs> I wouldn't say it was evil. It was just no, no. doing its snake thing. Right, yeah. It just happened to be there on a, I don't know. The, and the yeah. weird thing about that is I had, me and, and the dog had walked through there numerous times and we heard nothing right like nothing i had just right. walked through there not even like a minute like it was a couple seconds mm -hmm. you know and you're coming in right up after me like right behind me and that snake was not having it with you nope. but we passed through like nothing <laughs> <laughs> i know that fucking snake man i don't i don't get it like how come it didn't i i, I we were talking about this the other night and i I mentioned that maybe it's because my body temperature was higher than, than hers, and I'm a lot bigger, so maybe it was more concerned with me than her. Um, that's the only thing I could think of, because it was a it, it was a rattlesnake, and and uh, I do know a little bit about rattlesnakes. I know that they're pit vipers, and I know that they sense uh, they sense with heat, so they can they can see um, heat signatures of their prey, and uh, so I was. Yeah, you know, I'm a lot bigger than my wife, and I'm and I'm usually like I'm usually pretty hot, like like I'm hot to the touch. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I'm, well, I, got, I I run hot. I I'm guess. I'm thinking <laughs> also, um, I'm pretty quiet. I'm a really quiet walker. Okay, yeah. And I pay a lot of attention to where I'm stepping, so I don't make noise. I see. Like I don't know. I just like to be sneaky. Right. So, 
So I think when I walked through, I probably didn't alert it as much versus you stomping through <laughs> and holding a rumbling cooler at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. You know, all that vibration was mm-hmm. probably be like, oh my god, I'm going to die. Yeah. And yeah, it needed to protect itself. That's a good point. Because it, it was in a very, like, defensive stance. It was, yeah. It, it, was, was... it didn't want to move anywhere because it, it obviously felt super gay and, like, endangered. Right. It was coiled up. It was coiled up like it was going to strike. And, uh, yeah. And it, was a, it was a good sized one, too. Yes, it was. It was very it was. big. It was beautiful. I think, I, I remember I, uh, I looked up what kind of rattlesnake it was, and I think it was like a, God, what was it? I want to say like Mojave rattlesnake, and they're not really known to be up here, but I guess they are, technically, so, because it was, um, it was a green colored, it was a green colored rattlesnake, I remember that, and it had like a, uh, it had like a, a black and white striped tail right before the rattle. And I remembered that very well. <laughs> it's like ingrained into my memory. Uh, so yeah, it was a green patterned rattlesnake with a black and white striped tail right next to the rattle. So, and I looked that shit up and, and sure enough, I, I believe it was called the Mojave rattlesnake. It could be something, I don't know, it could be something different, but that's what I remember, if I recall. You know, I have a phone, I can probably just look it up. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so anyways, you were saying about pre- uh, your previous experiences there? At oh, the place. yeah, yeah. So so they were just, you know, around the fire, just relaxing. Uh, my friend literally had her first child, so she had this little infant. And she's sitting on a log, because there, there was a giant old log that you could tell people would always sit on. Yeah. And so she's sitting on this log... And she's holding her kid, and her husband's on the fire next to her and messing with, like, food and whatnot. And, uh, she hears a noise, and she feels the log get hit. So, right next to her, the bullet hit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. And and her husband like jumps into action you know because yeah. they always have weapons oh, and good yeah <laughs> grabs their grabs their shotgun and starts shooting off a couple shots in the air like warning shots you know like they have a gun too yeah and that was that was it but yeah it was a very bad night for them wow. and they never went back to that spot ever again and that was the same spot that we were in that was right next to the spot that we were at that big clearing oh yeah okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i that, have walked yeah. you okay. through because the the water is really pretty right there mm-hmm. there's just these huge huge fucking pine trees you know massive yeah trees it's beautiful yes i do remember i took pictures of that too um and so there's that. Uh, I did have an experience camping there where I heard something touch the top of my tent. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah. I, you told me about that. Got, I didn't. So, like, I, what, yeah. what happened? Okay. Well, what happened there? So I'm camping there uh, and with my ex. Uh-huh. And he heard nothing. He's snoring and shit. Like, whatever. Me, but me and the dog, because I, I had Aku. Yep. So, Aku would sleep right right next to me, because he's a chihuahua, he gets cold. And I heard noises, and my dog hears noises, but he's being really quiet. Like, I see his eyes, and he's looking, like, into my eyes, and he's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and we're both like, and he, he's... He would definitely bark if he needed to bark, and he knew better to not bark. Right. And this thing is, like, walking around the tent, and it freaked me out, because on the other side of that tent, there's, like, a little... It dips down, and then it goes really sharp, like, Mm -hmm. vertical up to the road. Right. And there's, like, an old-ass stump right there. And, like, barbed wire. Uh-huh. You see all that shit, like, right there? It's really fucking weird, because it's out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and you see that shit just... 
but there's not a whole lot going on back there for something to be walking around easily. So you don't think it was a deer or anything no, like that? No, th- whatever the fuck this thing was, was big enough to actually be touching the top of my tent without touching the rest of the tent and messing with the branch up, up above us. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Um, I wasn't going to get out of my tent to check. Okay. I just <laughs> laid there and was like, well, I'm not dead yet, you know? Right. And, yeah, but that's all I, that's all I did. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Um, and, it, I, and it wasn't at this spot, but I, I had another spot. It's a different fork. Um, Do we want to say where this place is? No. No? no. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a different fork. I apologize. I'm not going to disclose this information. <laughs> I, I, I really don't want to... I don't want people to rush to this place to go investigate. I mean... Yeah. I mean, maybe you should. I, some Maybe I, somebody should, but... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big believer in leaving the forest being the forest. Okay. And so I don't, I don't like... I, I'm really mean, but uh, I don't want people in my woods. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys don't get to know where this place is. I apologize. <laughs> All right, anyways, you were saying forks. <laughs> what um, about forks? Uh, so I we had made a spot. Um, it's really, really far out there. And then you get to the part where you cross over a little stream and there's <clears throat> it splits off. And then if you go any further, you hit some serious mountain roads where you have to have the correct vehicle and tires to get up those roads. Right. They're like horse trails now, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're real rough. Uh-huh. Um, but it's, it's beautiful right there. And we made a spot out there and something in the middle of the night, once again, this was with my ex and he didn't hear anything until I made sure he heard something. <laughs> Cause it's how 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 can you he'd be dead if he was out there alone, that's all I have to say. Okay. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> <sighs> And so something ran straight on into the tent in the middle of the night. Like hard. Like it moved the air mattress and all of the stuff where it hit, it Mm -hmm. literally shifted all of our shit over. Whoa. With us on the mattress, by the way. And so this wasn't in the same spot? This was a different spot in the forest? Yeah. Same forest. Same forest. Different different spot. Different different campsite. Yeah. Okay. And, um... So why why did we go back to this camp? Why did we go here to go camping? Because it's the woods. You know, every campsite. Oh, shit. Every time I go into the woods, I've always experienced something. What the fuck? Always. Whether it's the time when I felt like something was chasing me. So, okay, hang on. You know, like. All right, wait, wait, wait. First, First we have, okay, we have your friend gunshot into a log. Yes. Gun. Okay, gunshots. Yes, and then the thing touching my tent. And then the thing touching your tent, and then the thing running into your tent, and then with us, we have the fucking uh, charcoal briquette thing. Um, what else? The rattlesnake, but, I mean, the rattlesnake is just a rattlesnake, you know, it's right. not... Right, right. So, oh, the night that I took you up there, because I used to go up there at night also, okay. all the time, by myself, which is probably stupid, but... Are you talking about the light? The light. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, same, wait, same wait, 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 no. We can't talk about this right now. Okay. We can't talk about that. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I guess, <laughs> I guess I just sealed my fate coming back on here. Uh, yeah. Another we're, time. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do another one of these. Um, but, yeah, no, you can't, yeah, okay. we'll skip that but for right now. There's so much, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of stories um, that stump, and I didn't tell you this because I don't want to freak you out, but I, I really, okay. <laughs> I really want to go back to this spot too, because I love that spot regardless. I still love it. I'm, I used to have a huge, I still kind of do, but I used to have a huge problem with pine trees. 
So the, that was the spot where I decided that those pine trees right there were my friends. Hmm. And so I really like that spot. And that says a lot because it took... God, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm so old. So old that it took a very long time for me to get over that shit. So yeah, I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain anything about it. I'm just I'm just gonna say it was a, a phobia, and we're just gonna leave it at that. So mm-hmm. just she had a, a huge phobia, um, and now she's kind of gotten over it slightly now that we've been back because we uh, we moved to Texas and we were living in Texas uh, for four years, and they don't have pine trees over there. <laughs> So when we came back, we realized just how much we kind of missed all of this stuff, and uh, I don't know, it was just kind of like a. It kind of did something to my phobia. Yeah. So I'm, I'm more yeah. accepting of emphysema now. Which I'm grateful of because I love pine trees. Like yeah. I don't know, they've been a huge part of my life for all of my life, and uh, yeah, I don't, I couldn't imagine my life without them. So. That will, I had a weird dream about pine trees last night. Did you? Yeah. What? I have a feeling you're going to have to edit the shit out of this recording. Um, no. It's, it's going to stay just like this. I'm, I not, had a, I'm not cutting anything out. I had a huge dream about pine trees, and I was somewhere, mm. and there was uh, a nasty-looking pine tree. And I, I just looked at you, and I said, I can't. And I remember you looking at me, and you're like, I thought you were over that. And I was like, yeah, but not not with that one. So, I do get heebie-jeebies sometimes. <laughs> just with their, the, they have to look a certain way, and I get the heebie-jeebies. But, yeah. I mean. Well, okay. And it's not as bad as it's all of them. This, the, our camping trip, the, um, the one we were just talking about with the charcoal briquette thing, we were on a hike, and we cut the hike short because of a tree that we saw, and... Like, I don't, you know, I'm not afraid of trees. I don't have a phobia of trees. But I saw this fucking tree, and I had a phobia of trees for, like, for like five seconds. And I turned right the fuck around, and I was like, nope. Because I knew that, I knew that she had the phobia of trees, and I knew that if she saw this tree, like, it was going to do something to her. And I, and I had, I don't know, I must have had, like, a sympathy phobia for you. No, I, I saw that tree. You saw that tree. You know, and the scary thing is, is I have been to that spot so many fucking times. And you don't remember seeing that and there, I right? I never remembered seeing that motherfucking tree there. No way. I didn't either. No, yeah, that was the first time I saw that tree. I know, it, right? That's why it scared me so much, I think, because I, I don't remember seeing it there. I saw it before he saw it, because I had stopped walking way before you saw it. Okay. And I was already right. turning around, I'm and gonna, I was like, nope. I'm going to try to explain what this tree looked like. It was it was a, it was a very dense pine tree, um, and it had, you know, standard pine tree it had uh, nothing foliage. around it either. Right. No, it was standing, uh, on, it was standing alone. And not only did it have normal pine tree branches, but it also had, like, what I can only describe as tree tentacles. Like, they were fucking just, like, twisting out from uh, around this pine tree. It looked like it looked like something alive. I mean, they weren't moving, but they looked like they could move. It was the scariest tree I think I've ever seen in my life. And it was dark. It was darker than any of the trees. It was, like, almost black. Um, but yeah, and the, uh, the tentacle things were like a, like a mid to light green yeah, color. Yeah, like they, they stood out. Yeah, they did. And that tree was so much darker than all the rest of right. the trees. Right, yeah. And yeah. there was nothing around it. There was no bushes, there was no other trees around it. It was just so, on its fucking own. Yeah, I'd never seen a, a pine tree ever look like that. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's... You know, you know, shocked me, scared me, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, fuck. So, okay. Do you have any other information about this place that you want to share? Oh, the stump. The stump, yes. Okay. The stump, the stump um, apparently has been used um, for satanic rituals. Oh. Um, pretty specifically. So. Okay. Um, and, and this is... 
really weird. I mean, it's not unique to have satanic rituals out in the, in the wilderness. But it's a strangely Washington thing <laughs> to have so many satanic rituals out in the wilderness. I suppose. I mean, like, it kind of goes hand in hand, woods and rituals in general. But I think we have a lot more of it going on because we happen to be in Washington. Huh. I feel like there's a lot more. You know, you know that, that kind of feels, feels about right. I, and you're right. I don't know why there is. It's like they kind of are, are like drawn, drawn to this yeah. area. Maybe it's like a ley line kind of thing. Something. <laughs> I think there's a lot of extra going on. And I think that's why there's... I've had so many um, odd things happen to me in, in the mountains. By all means, I'm surprised I haven't died <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> well, I think, that, I think that goes the same for just about anybody. Jeez. I mean... When I was a kid, we would, uh, when, on our camping trips, we, we had heard about these hot springs that were, that were kind of hidden away, and it was like a really steep hike to get to, yeah. and only like the people in the know would be able to get there. So we had like a cousin that knew where, exactly where it was, and so he was, he would drag us down there, and we'd go down, and it was just like a, a hot tub sized pool of hot spring. And you could sit in there and just, like, chill, you know? It was a big thing. And uh, I remember looking up at the walls, and because uh, it was like a little uh, a little cave, like mm-hmm. a little tiny cave, and uh, there was, like, melted candles, like, where people had put candles out there because they'd gone there at night. They probably had sex in there or something, and that's I'm pretty sure. gross. I'm sure. All orgies and shit. Uh, but, yeah, um... Yeah, we could have died over there, like, hiking to that shit, falling down a cliff. No. <laughs> Not only that, but, like, yeah. like now you gotta realize, like, you don't know who who's there. Oh, yeah. So there's, and that goes with the same woods, um, there's a lot of rumors that there's people that live out there. Oh, yeah. Illegally. Like, like those, oh, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's, because you can get lost out there, because it's basically part of the national forest it wouldn't surprise me and there's a lot of rumors that there's people that have lived out there for a very long time um <laughs> so yeah yeah you got that shit going on too yeah that would not surprise me at all and that and that's scary it's like um and they and that yeah, uh, the other know. side of the ridge that's like a weird village um, kind of thing the other side side of the ridge is the uh it's it's reservation. Okay. So it's also so on the there's border nothing with out there. the reservation land, which who knows what's on that side, because you're not allowed to know. Even on the map, when you when you look on the map, it just says reservation. They don't even <laughs> mark the topography or anything. You have no idea what's on the other side of that. Show. What the fuck? Yeah, unless you're Native American. I see. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess I don't. I don't know. I think. I think you could look up uh, Google Earth and just kind of locate this place if you wanted to, <clears throat> but the, but again, we're not sharing the location. Right, and I've. But I will, we could. I will just say I have done that, uh-huh. and part of it doesn't load up all the way. Oh. I, I wonder if it's changed now. I haven't tried it recently. Oh, uh, I don't know. I have a couple my years ago, it, it didn't load up all the way. It was just <clears> kind of like you know. I'm kind of curious. Super I'm gonna, bad, grainy. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up and see if I can, uh, if I can see this then, lo- if this area. Uh, the reason why I know that a lot of people don't know what's going on um, out in the reservation land is because I had a friend take me out in the middle of their nowhere on the reservation. <coughs> and this is probably really stupid that I Excuse did this me. too. Uh-huh. And, um, they have a whole national forest out there that doesn't show on the map. And where is this again? It is, um, over by Toppenish and White Swan area, I think. I'm not sure because I had no idea where I was and none of the roads were marked. (laughs) All I know is that it was a long ass drive, but we didn't leave, you know, we didn't leave to anywhere. It was really weird. Yeah. 
And, um... Oh, no. You can see everything here. Everything now? Oh, yeah. And, uh, it was so weird because... You can probably even see our little campsite. There's, like, nothing out there. So, I mean, nothing. You can see for days. And you turn onto this, like, little tiny road... And, and everything's all nice, but it's all nice, like, hard-packed gravel nice. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And you keep going, and then you see, and it goes right back to the goddamn trees, there's these massive, massive pine trees that have been purposely planted, and they're not like, you know, like, your garden pine tree. Yeah. They're like wild fucking pine trees, but they are perfectly planted in a line, in like a uniform line, so many miles or whatever apart. Mm-hmm. And they look like fucking sentries, basically. You're not going to believe what this creek is called. Uh, yeah, honey, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And... Those trees were crazy looking. They were so crazy looking because they have super long branches, but it's so windy out there because there's literally nothing. And so the, they, the, the branches grew looking like the way the wind has been forcing it, you know, over fucking years. Mm -hmm. And they're just these massive trees and it was terrifying. And then when you, when you drive past those... And you get creeped out because you're like, whoa, shit, there's like trees all of a sudden. Yeah. But they're spaced so far apart. And then you drive past, you know, the two that you go in between. Mm -hmm. And it's like, poof, there's nothing again. (laughs) And you drive. And then all of a sudden the road turns. And then it dips down. And it looks like a giant crater. And it's like picturesque mountains all of a sudden. Hmm. There is a river, there are trails, there are trees, it is clean, it was like foggy, it was like I, like you entered a totally different world all of a sudden. Weird. Yeah, and then the road starts to go up and up and up and up, you hmm. know, when you get to a certain point, and it was just crazy, it, it, it was like a different world. Wow. That's out there. But Jeez. you're not going to see it on the map. <laughs> oh my god. That is creepy. Oh, you're looking at all the well, I'm the stuff out there? I'm looking at the area that we camped at, and I'm... Yeah, I, I think this is it. I, I might be wrong. Hang on. What's so creepy about it? Well, it's just... It's creepy to see. I'm trying to see... Yeah, now that I think about it... Um, probably would second guess camping because it, it could just slide right off. Did we camp before? Was this the same area as this? Or is this no, the other fork? The, that's it's the other fork. It's the... I'm going to cut out what I just said. It's, I'm not going to... I'm not going to leave in what I just said because that, that points to where this place is. So, Okay, it's so the, it's the other fork? It's the left fork. Okay. So we camped on the left fork, Mm -hmm. not the right fork. Because I, okay. So I'm looking in the wrong direction. Yeah. What's on the, what's on the other side is where other stuff happened. Okay. Okay, you told me not to talk about. What? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We can't talk about that. Okay, here we go. Here's the fork. That's the one I need. Okay, so where the fuck? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is... You see, it's much brighter than the other side. It is. Isn't that scary? Yeah. Makes you feel safer. A little bit. (laughs) No, don't drop a pin, stupid Google. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this uh, podcast kind of went kind of quiet. I got busy looking at this fucking place, but I think I found it. Oh, no. Well, every time I'm talking, you interrupt me. Uh, I'm sorry. I- I'm just I'm just being astonished by something. But, um, 
the uh I'm s i am apologize for interrupting you. Oh. What about the uh the time that we were camping and um uh those people just like No, I don't think we were together yet. <laughs> I was like, oh uh, shit. No. I don't think but so. I was like camping and these people like parked off the road and then they drove into cause like you the spot kinda like you had to drive it was a packed trail mm-hmm. to drive your car through the trees and then it was a, like a nice spot but it's very uh, open you know there's a lot of like tree 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 like bald trees you know yeah um and yeah these people just like went through the trail to our campsite and like parked on it and just like sat there for like 15 minutes with their headlights on us what the hell yeah and like we were trying to sleep and we're like um are we gonna die like (laughs) are these people contemplating if they're gonna kill us or like what the fuck's going on yeah yeah and you know we had a gun and stuff and so we were obviously you know (laughs) I'm sorry, I just like how you said we had a gun and stuff. <laughs> sorry. Oh, we did, but I mean, it shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to have a gun for people when I'm camping. Right. You yeah. know, but that's another thing that you have to look at too. Is like, you know, think about Ted Bundy. Oh my God, Ted shit. Bundy. Like, how many trails and how many roads have I driven on that that man would drove on to? Probably all of them. He probably knows more about these spots than I do. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? that's very true. That's that's very true. Like, and that makes you know that can make you nervous. Yeah, this makes me think of um, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. You know, oh, right? <laughs> like they're just trying to live their life out there, and we're just fucking up their shit. <laughs> Just right into the wood chipper. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with these kids? <laughs> They're all dying. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Yeah. I love that movie. But yeah, just the weirdest things just happen out there. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I found the campsite and I found the place that you're looking at, or that you were talking about the the clearing with the stump. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything special. I mean, you can see the creek, you can see where it goes behind there. Um, I don't know, I, I just, let me see, what else can, okay, you said beyond the ridge is just reservation, and if I look back there, yeah, that's all you see is just, like, mountains. Wait, what's this? There's a clearing up here, at the top of this ridge. Like a... Probably a burial site. No, it's not like that. But there is a road out here. And it just flattens out at the top like a plateau. And there's there's some trees, but it's mostly flat land. I don't see any structures. Mm-hmm. They have um That's they do have bears out there. Bears. So I've seen porcupines, brown bear, which is unusual. Um wolves. Okay. Not, not a coyote. A, a fucking wolf. <laughs> I know the difference. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Much bigger. Ooh, what's this? Um, there's about six wolves in the area. The last time I checked, they were reintroduced. Thank God, because there's so many fucking deer. <laughs> <laughs> we need the wolves to eat like, the goddamn the, deer. Those bastards aren't even scared of you. That's the terrifying part. So, this is interesting. At Okay, there is a road up here, and it looks like there are a couple of campsites out here. Like, clear, clearly, clearly campsites. Because they are, like, cleared out. They look like they've been flattened out. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Like you used. Yeah, there are definite clearings. Um, so let me see if I can count how many. I see one right there. Um, that could be one right there. That's probably one right there. Another one there. Oh, there's two right there, right next to each other. One on one side of the road and one on the other. Look, I'm, I'm going to show this to you and just just tell me if you if you think uh, you're seeing what I'm seeing. <clears throat> right there. You see that? 
Oh, I see yeah. two campsites. Yeah, two campsites. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there's a bunch of those at the top of this ridge. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, my only problem with that is, like, where do you go poop? <laughs> you go in the ground. You just bury it. It's... I mean, there's no pre- there's there's no there's no spot to go hide. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so this is the top of that of that ridge, and this this road kind of splits off into a fork. But there's this huge clearing at the top here. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been up there, and it's really weird because it doesn't show you, but it's it's a pretty slanty road. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because it's it's it gets pretty high up. It's okay. quite nice, though. It's very bright. Here's a couple more things that I think could be campsites. There's a road here. It goes out to a clearing right over here. And that looks like a heart or with, or pointy boobs. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff as you go through here. So, but I don't see any structures at all, so nothing's this, been built up here. This whole road is supposed to connect all the way up to um, the other side. Where, like, Rimrock and Bumping Lake. Okay. I'm going to leave those locations in because they're not, that's not where we're talking about. But you do know we're in Washington State. And that's supposedly because... In Washington State. Once you get to a certain point, uh, it's really hard to drive on some of that shit. Uh, yeah. I... Yeah, I've... I was on a, on the different side... And, um, driving on those roads when you get up past a certain point. Mm -hmm. And some of these roads were getting pretty narrow. Made a, And there was, like, crazy bridges and stuff out there. Hmm. It was really weird. And, um, there's some parts where there's just a giant boulder that fell on the road. And you cannot drive around it or anything because it's, like, drop off on one side. Yeah. And then it's, like... Boulder, <laughs> and you're just like, um, should we be here? Can you imagine <laughs> driving down that road when that boulder fell? That would be so scary. Terrifying. That's what happened to that other car. The one that like, got smashed. Yeah. Yeah, that's it pretty bad. Happens all the time. The yeah. earth is always moving. Well, yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty sad when something like that happens. So I'm following this road, this service road, and it's. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. It looks like it's just a straight up dirt road. Let me see if I can see. Or is it paved? No, the picture isn't clear enough when I zoom in. But I think it's just a dirt road. But it goes for fucking miles. Mm -hmm. Does it ever turn into a paved road? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I think so. No, it's just another dirt road. A bigger one, though. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Okay, so this is a normal dirt road. The one that I was following before is just like a trail, I guess. But it it goes way the fuck across this ridge, which is miles it's and miles It's probably miles. where people take the, the four-wheelers and go hunting. Holy crap. I guess, man. That is crazy shit. I mean, there's lots of, you know, elk and deer tasty deer mm. mm -hmm. and then you have um those sheep sheep oh uh, well yeah oh yeah remember those cows <laughs> those freaking oh. cows i guess um okay. somebody somebody has like some cows out there like uh i don't know a farm maybe he's got a farm i guess he must own oh yeah i don't know i don't i don't get it cause... i don't know if his cows got out or if he just lets them loose. I think he just lets them loose, but I don't get it because that is literally part of the for is part of the national forest. Yeah. And and there are cougars out there. Yeah, and he just has these cows just out there. <laughs> They're like mountain cows. Yeah, that's crazy. And I don't know. I saw one when we were driving through. I thought it was freaking Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, you don't expect to see this big brown thing. Right. Walk running through the freaking forest by the road. You know what would be awesome though? I'd like I'd like to think this about this guy, the guy that owns these cows. I'd like to think 
that he uses those cows to like make his own cheese, you know, like he, oh, yeah. and then he's got like I don't know mountain man cheese. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know. That'd be interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just love cheese. I know. I love cheese too. But yeah, that's what I like to think that he does out there with those cows. He's got mountain man cheese, uh, and he uh, he uses the milk uh, that the forest foliage produces. I guess. And it gives it that special flavor that, you know... Speaking of the forest, though... Yeah. So, I have a... So, would you want to go camping back at that site again? Ah, <sighs> yes. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I want to go back. I just don't know if I want to camp there again. <laughs> I oh, shit. probably have to have the car packed up like we're going to go camping. And then just visit the spot and see... <laughs> yeah, feel it how out. How we feel about <laughs> yeah. it. Mm-hmm. You know, though, you know we're going to go camping if we have all the shit to do it. Well, yeah, we will <laughs> camp, just not necessarily there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we, we could just go up for the up the road. Mm. Especially now that we don't have a car. Yeah, we have the uh, we have the Explorer, so. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I, I accept that proposal. We do it. I think we should do it. Whenever we can, we should do that. Okay. Um, Good deal. This summer, I guess. This summer. Yeah, it's still very cold out there. Oh, yeah, I would not go any time before July. Before July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you go in June, you're going to have a bad time. I mean, it's it's it'll be okay, but you're still going to need to bundle up. Yeah, like it's doable. It's just not recommended. I remember I went into the woods with Tony uh, one time because he needed rocks for an aquarium. And it was like... February, I think. <laughs> so we drove out there, and there was goddamn snow up there, and I'm talking snow. So we were walking on this snow, and it's just a huge drift, like a huge snow drift. So we're falling in up to our chests, up to our chests in snow, and we're like, "Yeah, we need to like get the fuck out of here." And I'm I'm six foot two, so that's a lot of fucking snow. That's a lot of snow. That's at least like. Like, four and a half, five feet of snow. See, that makes me so fucking nervous. So I have this big thing about skiing, that thing that I posted yeah. on Facebook. So I am terrified of the dead the dead spots, the deadfalls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, for the pine trees. Uh -huh. So when people show me their little pictures, they're like, oh, they went skiing. Oh, <laughs> we're having such a great time. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they show <laughs> yeah. me the picture, and I see, like, the cutest little pine tree in the background. Yeah, there's, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> there's no cute little pine trees no. in the background in the fucking snow. No, nope, That there's... is the top of a giant fucking pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> and you're only seeing the teepee top of it. Yep. That's what that fucking thing is. Oh my god. So if you're walking, you can fall through. It's a fucking real goddamn thing. You fall through all the way down because the only thing that's packed down far enough is the trunk of the tree. The branches are not packing the snow properly. So it's just a hole. So it's like snow quicksand. Yes. Yeah. You heard it here, folks. That's what fucking happens to you. You're a fucking moron for being out there. <sighs> but you know... Terrifying. I, I will it's say... Like Venus flytraps. I will say this. That's probably why people use long skis and long snowboards so they can distribute their weight oh, so that it's man. not an essential point so they do fall you, you down like that. You still have to be careful. So, yeah, if it you're... Still yeah, still happens. Just, wear, and snowshoes. Just stay away from the trees. Yeah, yeah, stay Please. away from the trees. Even if you see a little cute one, remember, there's a lot of snow. <laughs> there's a lot there's of snow. There's a lot of yep. snow. It mm -hmm. makes me so nervous. Yeah. I, that's why I prefer ice. Over snow, people think I'm stupid, but at least ice doesn't lie to you. I feel like snow can totally lie to you about what's going on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, that's right. And I, you, you posted on Facebook the other day, you'll, you'll never get me to ski. <laughs> I still think that's so fucking funny. Yeah. You'll never get me to ski. I would love, I would love to be out in the mountains, in a cabin, 
you know, I'm so used to being by myself anyways, mm -hmm. so I don't think I, it would affect me that much. Right. Like, dream. Yeah, just <laughs> strand me here by myself so I don't have to make a fucking excuse. I, will, I would love it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, like, out, you know, all over the place mm -hmm. pretending to ski. No, thank you. <clears throat> so... Let me, let me ask you a question. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going to put you on the spot, but not really. I hope. Um, mm -hmm. So, you've heard the story across the creek. Yes. You've heard you've heard pretty much all of it. Yes. Okay. Um, so, and you know that the character Jenna, while she's not really based on you, she kind of is. A little bit. Tiny bit. Maybe... I don't know. I would. What my question to you is: Do you relate to the character Jenna? I I can kind of, yeah I can relate, especially um, being at the bar. Mm. Uh, oh yeah okay. Yeah, yeah I, I've only been to the bar once or twice in my life, but I can only think of the one time. I specifically went to the bar for other people. Okay. And it sucked. Yeah. I did not appreciate it. So, I could totally relate to that. Okay. I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's not a bar fan. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, well, yeah, that's that's really all I wanted to know. I just wanted to know if, if you... Yeah, okay. That answered my question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I think that's a good stopping point for this uh, this podcast. So, uh, if you stuck around this far, thank you for listening, and uh, we we'll, we will probably do another one of these next Sunday. I mean, why not? Yeah, let's, sure. Let's if, do it. If it's wanted. Yeah. yeah, I mean, why not? It's 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 something to do. It's uh it's fun for me, and uh, it's kind of entertaining to give you guys a little history on. Um, things that I write about so yeah if you like this come back next Sunday and the, or next Monday I guess because this will be uploaded on Monday so <laughs> come back next Monday and we'll have another one of these for you so uh, until then uh, I don't know en enjoy uh, enjoy whatever I put out for you guys and whatever else you happen to be reading at the moment uh, enjoy that shit and if I couldn't give you a recommendation uh, I just started listening to uh, If It Bleeds by Stephen King on Audible and the uh, the first story on that was actually really really good really good. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, the character Craig, I felt so bad for. Um, but yeah, uh, give that a try if you haven't listened to it yet. If it bleeds by Stephen King, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Or actually, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, enjoy.